What's going on gamers? It's Fox2 and today I'm bringing you a gameplay. It's domination on a map that you probably don't see very much from any YouTube commentators. It's on Aftermath. I hate this map. Everybody hates this map. You hate this map. Your mom hates this map. It's probably the worst map Call of Duty has ever put into a game. It's Activision really please do us all a favor and never allow another map like this to be put into a game. It's terrible. Anyway, enough ranting about the map. Um, before anybody complains about my style of play in this gameplay, yes, I'm playing slow. Yes, that was horrible aim right there. But I'm camping out for a reason. If you look at my score streaks, I'm going for dogs. Some of you might be watching this and being, you know, saying to yourself, so what? You're going for dogs. Who really cares? That's not that big of a deal. I am not some incredibly talented superhuman professional gamer. I am an average person. I enjoy Call of Duty. I like playing video games. I have a 1.15 KD. I don't even know what it is. It's not, you know, a 4.0 KDR or anything like that. I don't really pay attention to that stuff. I play the objective a lot and I don't go for large score streaks typically. In fact, this is my first time getting dogs in Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 1 for that matter because I typically play just the objective. I die a lot when I play the objective. I throw myself at, at flags, I throw myself at bombs for, for demolition, um, and that means I'm going to die a lot, but I don't care because I'm more concerned with the team winning. So yeah, I play a little bit slower, I play a little bit more carefully, and Right now, as you can see, I just got my VSAT, and I'm scared completely shitless because I'm starting to get close to getting dogs, and I haven't really had any trouble yet, so I'm getting pretty nervous. But I am particularly, par uh, I'm sorry, particularly proud of this gameplay um, because not only do I pull off getting dogs, um, I pull off getting two dogs, two sets of dogs in the same life and I come pretty close to just about getting a nuclear medal. Um, I think I got 23 or 24 gun kills in a row without dying before I died my first death. So for me, this is an example of how if you play smart, even if you are not the best Call of Duty player in the world, you don't have perfect aim and a super fast trigger finger and incredibly quick reaction time, you can still achieve those high score streaks. If you want to go out and run dogs and try and get it one or two times, or you want to go get Swarm or a Warthog or a VTOL or whatever, don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it. Because you can. You just have to change your, your style of play. You need to be a little bit more careful. You need to use cover. You need to make sure that your perks are set up to help you. You know, use Scavenger. And there you go, there's my dogs. Um, really excited about that, that was awesome. I was screaming, I'm sure that the people on my team were a little annoyed at that point, but that's alright, they can deal with it. I was happy. So, the, the point that I really want to get across here about this is, don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't do anything, for that matter. You know, whether it's score streaks, or, you know, trying out for the basketball team at school, or the football team, or interviewing for a job that you might want to get, or applying to a college that you want to go to. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't do something, because there's so many opportunities in life that if you just put your mind to it, and you're willing to do the work, you're really willing to practice, or study, or you know, put the hours in of gameplay, or whatever, whatever it may be, you can do it. It just depends on your willpower to achieve whatever goal it is that you're looking to achieve. When I first started this YouTube channel, I never, you know, by no stretch of the imagination am I a big YouTube channel right now. I've got 270 some odd subscribers, but when I started, I really did it just because I thought that I might enjoy it. And I honestly didn't think that I would even ever make it to like 50 subscribers or 100 subscribers, let alone where I'm at today, and it continues to grow. And a large part of that I, is not because I'm an insanely awesome Call of Duty player or I have some, you know, 
gem of wisdom to tell you how to play better than, you know, and and some piece of, of information that nobody else has or anything like that. It's really just that I'm willing to put the hard work in to try and make good quality videos. I take the time to make sure or try to make sure that the commentaries that I give you guys are either funny or informative or bottom line entertaining and high quality you know I've I've done the legwork I've put in the hard work and it's starting to quote unquote pay off you know in the in the fact that I'm getting more views I'm getting more subscribers and I love it I I honestly would keep doing this just the way I'm doing it even if I only had five subscribers that were all my best friends because I enjoy it but my point is that if there's something that you want to do and you think you can be good at it, even if other people are telling you that you can't do it or you're not going to be good at it or whatever it may be, do it. Try your hardest. Put the work in. Don't expect to be the best as soon as you start, but don't give up just because somebody told you that you can't do something. Okay, so now that I'm done with my inspirational speaker you know rant there or section if you will uh i just want to talk a little bit about what worked for me because i did have a lot of frustrating games um getting to the point where i hit dogs you know if this is something that you want to try and you're just an average gamer like me that doesn't run big score streaks um what i would personally recommend is you know start smaller uh use always use uav and then build up to, you know, maybe UAV, Lightning Strike, Chopper. And once you can get that a handful of times, then maybe do UAV, Lightning Strike, Orbital VSAT. And slowly build it up. And the combination, as you can see, that worked for me was UAV, Orbital VSAT, and then Dogs. And I really like this because you get a lot of assist points um, from from uh, your teammates when your orbital VSAT and your UAV are in the air. So that really, really helps you build up to that dog score streak. Um, as far as a gun, I went with something that I'm very comfortable uh, with as far as I use the AN-94 all the time in league play. Um, this particular setup, I think I'm using stock and uh, I think foregrip on this. Um, and then I've got a bunch of perks. You'd have to look at the beginning of the game, honestly. I can't even remember all the perks I'm running. I think it's Hardline, Ghost, Scavenger, Toughness, and either Dexterity or Tac Mask. And then I have no Secondary, and I have no Lethals, and no Tacticals. Um, just because I get most of my kills with my gun. I don't hardly ever get kills with Frag Grenades or Bouncing Betties or any of that stuff. So I felt like the most important thing was to have a gun set up that I was very, very comfortable with and confident in, as well as having scavenger so that I wouldn't run out of ammo. Um, because obviously if you don't have scavenger and you you know go on a 10, 12 kill streak, you're probably going to run out of ammo before you, um, before you hit that, that mark. So, oh man, I got really lucky there, that guy standing on top of the ambulance. But anyway... Um, that being said, that's the setup that worked for me. Um, I'm very proud of this gameplay. You know, I'll probably get a little bit of hate from some people saying, oh, it's not that big of a deal. You were just camping the whole time. That's fine. Say what you want to say. To be perfectly honest, if you're going to be negative about it, I don't really care because I'm proud of it personally because it's something I've never done before. So it's my channel, so I'm going to put the video up. That's how that works. Um, be advised. If you are still watching at this point, I sincerely appreciate your support. Um, thank you for subscribing to my channel if you're a subscriber. Thank you for watching my videos. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. Um, if you like it, you know, give the video a thumbs up. Maybe share it on your Twitter or your Facebook wall or something. Um, get the word out there a little bit. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions or requests as far as what you would like to see um, in gameplays or here in commentaries leave that in the comment section for this video and I'll do my best to accommodate all any and all requests that I can you know feasibly do of course so thanks again for stopping by and I hope everybody has a great day friendly hellstorm missile inbound